Hey guys, welcome. Today I want to do tie-dye t-shirts. I have a really cool way to do it without the mess. I know some tie-dye t-shirt projects require a lot of dye and water. I have a very small amount of supplies that are needed and also there's different ways you can create different designs to create cool effects which I'll get into later. So I'm super excited to show you and I can't wait to get started. These are the supplies you're going to need. I have a variety of different color sharpies here. I have eight rubber bands. I have an emptied out hand sanitizer bottle. And the reason I like this one is because of the nozzle. And I will get into more details about that a little bit later. Some rubbing alcohol, eight solo cups, and an old t-shirt that you don't need. First thing you wanna do is lay your t-shirt out nice and flat. And then we're gonna go ahead and start putting our cups underneath our shirt. And this part can be kind of fun because you can put the cups wherever you'd like on the shirt. That's gonna reflect where the design's gonna be. Or you can put the cups closer together or further apart, however you'd like. So let's start with our first cup. Go ahead and put it under the first layer of your shirt. Find a spot you like and then put a rubber band over it like this. And go ahead and repeat these steps until you've completed putting all the cups under your shirt. Once you have all your cups placed on your shirt where you'd like your designs, these are gonna be the areas of where you're gonna create different designs. So for the first one, I'm gonna do polka dots. And you can do stripes, swirlies, all kinds of different patterns. Just make sure you use more than two different colors so that it creates a tie-dye effect. So for example, the first one, I'm gonna do polka dots. I'm gonna choose four bright colors. So maybe I'll choose these colors right here. And you wanna make sure you cover the entire area on top of the cup. So when I make my polka dots, I'm gonna fill them in like this, maybe do another one over here. You wanna make sure you don't leave a lot of white color. As you can see, I created eight different designs and I just wanna make sure I remind you in case I forgot to tell you that when you're creating all your different designs, make sure that they are all close together and you fill in as much of the white gap as possible on the cup. So as you can see, I did large bubbles and then I did stripes, I did swirlies, I did these firework kind of designs and I used more than two, two or more colors. This one I did tiny polka dots everywhere. Here I chose to do shapes, I did squares, triangles and hearts. Here I just decided to do a brown and peach kind of theme. And then here I did, I actually wrote some words and I wanna see how that kind of turns out. So just try to cover as much of the white as possible. Also, um, when you are doing your design, sometimes it helps if you pull down um, to make it tight. So uh, pull your shirt downwards and pull your rubber band up. That way it creates a nice firm top for you to color. Cause then if you let it, sag a little then it'll be harder to color so just make sure you kind of pull it tight so anyways here's what the finished designs i chose to do look like now we're going to get to the fun part and we're going to add rubbing alcohol to this and this is what it's going to create a really cool effect and it's going to blend all the colors together and give a tie-dye effect so once i pour the alcohol on this we're going to let it dry for about half an hour to an hour I poured the rubbing alcohol in an old sanitizer container and the reason I like this container is because of the spout. The spout will make it a lot easier to pour on top of all our designs. I made sure to clean this out and rinse it out, make sure that there's no old sanitizer in here and then I just poured the rubbing alcohol into this container. So let's see how it looks once we pour this. Um, after we pour this, you wanna make sure that you pour it so that the whole entire top part is wet and covered in the rubbing alcohol. Then we're gonna let it sit for about an hour or so, make sure it's completely dry and it'll magically create a really cool tie-dye effect. Let's get started. So as you can see, when I'm doing this, you can see the colors are starting to bleed together and kind of mix so i'm going to kind of leave it at that i soaked the entire top and then i'm just going to let it do its thing and i'm going to move on to my next design over here the stripes and i'm covering the entire thing so that the whole top part is wet 
So I'm on my last one now, and as you can see, if you look at some of the other ones, the colors are starting to blend together, and I made sure to cover the entire surface area so it's completely soaked and nice and wet. And as you can see on this one, the colors are already starting to bleed through and it's looking pretty cool right over here in this area. So now we're just gonna wait and let it sit. And if you want, you can watch the magic happen. I think this is so cool and I'm super excited of, as how this is gonna turn out. Welcome back. So here's the final product. As you can see, there's a lot of different colors and there's some cool tie-dye effects going on and all the blending that happened. So. My favorite one, I think if I had to pick one, would be this one. And this is the design that I had the blue hearts, the yellow triangles, and the pink squares. I really like how the pink and yellow blended together. So maybe for my next t-shirt, I might do this pattern only and do it everywhere. And I would also maybe fill in the rest of the shirts and do some more cups. Um, I just wanted to show you guys all the different designs that are possible. So you can do stripes, swirlies, uh, these little star designs. I don't really like how the blue doesn't really blend and spread, but it's trial and error. So you guys can play around, test it out, do several different t-shirts. I hope you had fun with it. I sure did. And I will see you next time for the next craft.